what a great opportunity for our program, you know, from a, an exposure visibility standpoint. Um, this is a great game for our program because, uh, first of all, you have a, you know you have a chance to step up. There's a lot of our guys at one point in time were being recruited by some bigger schools, and uh, you know, and, and a lot of our kids feel like most kids in the CA feel they can play at that at that level. So it's a great opportunity um, for our program to gain great exposure. Not just playing a Division One school, but an opponent like a, a UConn, it's, it's going to be a great experience for our guys. It's a great venue, uh, Rensselaer Field. Is, it's an awesome venue. I've been there before, um, so it's going to be a great environment for our kids. Obviously, we're going to have you know we're going to have to go up there and play a phenomenal game uh, if we're looking to, uh, to to get a win here. But I told the guys before, I said, hey, we don't have to be better than UConn um, nine out of ten times. All we have to do is is you know is be better than them on this one day. Obviously, they're a potent uh, offense. They have two great tailbacks. Uh, both of those kids you just mentioned in the Baylor game had over 100 yards uh, last week against Baylor. They're a two and one team that probably could be three and one, three and zero. Oh. Um, they, they ended up losing to uh, to North Carolina at home on a safety in the end zone uh, for uh, that, that really was late in the game. That, that kind of resulted in a loss for them. So um, they've done an unbelievable job in terms of building a program. Um, kind of like a model for them that we would like to use in terms of where they were and where they are uh, and year in and year out have gotten incrementally better. So it's going to be a great environment for our kids um, and I'm looking forward to it and, and I know our kids are looking forward to it. Well, I think, I mean, they're so, they're so well balanced. I mean, they have a great defense. Um, you know, the barometer for us in terms of recent past is the BC game. Um, they have, they, they're, they're probably, I would imagine, one of the best defenses in the Big East. They're just very athletic. They don't do a lot, uh, but they get helmets around the football uh, and really squeeze the pocket, constrict running lanes, and do a great job of preventing the big play. So their defense is, is you know, as good as any we'll see all year. Obviously, it'll probably be the best the best defense that we see all year. They have phenomenal special teams. Um, they have the number one uh, kickoff coverage team in the Big East right now after three games. They do an unbelievable job of covering the field. Um, they have a great kicking game. They have a punter who's one of their co-captains. Um, so that'll be a challenge for us as well. Um, you know, offensively, you know, they, they're, they're a little like UMass in the sense that they're going to run the ball. And when they get sick of running the ball, they're going to run the ball some more. So um, you know we're going to have a work cut out for us on defense. They have a big offensive line. They have two very good tailbacks. Um, they've gone with two quarterbacks. Uh, you know the starter got hurt after in the second game. Um, the backup came in, did a very good job. They're similar types of kids. Um, so uh, I, I think the thing that impresses me the most about this UConn team is just they have great balance and there's really not a weakness. And I would imagine at the end of the season they'll be in the hunt for a Big East championship. Sure, I think the, the, the thing I'm probably proudest of right now is the turnover margin. Um, we were plus two on Saturday. I said uh, I said to the team on the Friday night team meeting that if we were plus two, we probably would have won the game. But obviously, we didn't play great in, in the red zone, and we didn't uh, we didn't do a great job on third down. So traditionally speaking, uh, if you're plus two every week, you're probably going to be a playoff team. So I think we've done a great job, great turnovers, uh, and uh, we have we created eight two games, which is great. And we've really only we've had one turnover. So we're plus seven in the turnover margin. If we can, if we can continue to have that type of ratio, we're going to be a championship team this year. There's no question about that.